Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I shall now be explaining what I tend to do for F1 2019 since it is looming, since the Legends release date is the 25th and the general release date is the 28th. So, what am I doing? So, uh, first of all I do want to apologise for the lack of F1 2018 content. I should have persevered more with um, Adobe Elements which is my current video editor. And I probably um, record too many episodes in one go and it demotivated me, so I've learned that for career mode, I'm going to take it one step at a time. For me to enjoy the game as well, I'll have like a personal save which you guys don't see. I may show snippets of it, etc. What I will do is I'll make, try and make sure the content keeps coming every day. So even if it's just a snippet of gameplay of F1 2019, I'll make sure it's there, ready for you to all enjoy. Uh, also, uh, at some point, obviously career mode will be coming along. Um, I because it kind of is how the channel started in its current format. There will be a Back to Five Lock Challenge series, which I know at least one person that I know of will be very delighted to hear about. Uh, that won't start straight away, because I want to do that when the game, you know, sells down a bit, we've had time to get, get used to the game, and then start to make things a bit more interesting. Uh, and this time I'm going to go for a full season. It's going to be the usual format, of course. I'll go in Lewis Hamilton's car, I'll start at the back and see what I can do. And with the way F1 is this year, it's probably going to be a bit more like the um, early stages, like the 2014 2015 seasons, where I'm actually having to come from back to front with a dominant car, which means I'm going to get through the field nicely. But my teammate is going to be tricky. So as Rosberg in 14 and 15, Bottas in 2019, because, well, let's be honest, apart from uh, the Canadian Grand Prix in real life, Valtteri Bottas has actually been forming quite well. So that's going to be an interesting challenge. Uh, what about other content? Because I'm, I'm not exclusively an F1 channel. Obviously, it's the main part of what I do on YouTube. Of course it is. But it isn't the only thing. Because, uh, obviously, you've, you may have seen I've done a couple of Football Manager 2019 experiments. I may do a few more of those. Because at some point, I am considering, you know, when Football Manager 2020 comes out, of doing a proper save for the channel. So, that would be something I wish to do. Um, and you never know. Uh, you never know. Maybe we may have another Project Cars by then. Who's to say? Uh, surprisingly, uh, thanks to persuasion from my fr friends and colleagues. Uh, colleagues of the F1 world, obviously. I may be about to buy an Xbox One. So, you may actually see a collaboration there. I'm not going to say anything too firm, but you never know. But if nothing else, it allows us to, um, you know, have a comparison between experiences uh, between both consoles. But that's something I can't be concrete about because I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet because the next gen of consoles is coming out at the end of next year, possibly. But anyway, with F1 content, there will be career mode. Be sure of that and I'll do my best. Also, you can see this almost an F1 2019 career mode reveal because I've decided that I'm going to be McLaren. We're going to have an all British lineup with the meme lord himself, Lando Norris. I can't believe I'm actually going to be the oldest person in the drive lineup. That is not right. But then again, you know, and 23. I kind of got to accept that um, younger drivers and right. Watching Moto 3, for example, that just makes me feel ancient. Ancient. Just seeing all these 16 and 17 year olds riding around on 250cc motorcycles. Anyway, there's much more to say because I don't want to be stringing this out going, oh, look at me with all these plans. It, I'm, if, if the video takes as long as this, it takes as long as this. But anyway, thank you for watching, listening. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, thank you, guys. Um, I shall see you next time, for whatever it may be. Goodbye.